Arsenal confirms that Adu still has a chance to re-sign three former players, including Bukayo Saka's idol, and Fabrizio Romano drops a bombshell about Arsenal's 65 million pounds target. Stay with me until the end of the video to check out the latest Arsenal news straight from the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Arsenal still have plenty of work to do in this summer's transfer window. After turning David Rea's loan into a permanent deal and signing Ricardo Calafiori from Bologna, the Gunners are looking to make more moves. There are rumors that Mikel Marino is on the verge of joining Arsenal, which would be an excellent addition. However, the Gunners still need more reinforcements. They need to strengthen their goalkeeping options, find an attacking midfielder to replace Emil Smith-Rowe, and bolster their attack. Edu Gaspar and Mikel Arteta could make some savvy moves possibly even bringing back a few former Arsenal players. And the first one would be the goalkeeper Wojciech Szczesny. Aaron Ramsdale might be on his way out of Arsenal this summer after slipping behind David Rea in the pecking order. If Ramsdale leaves, the Gunners will be in need of a new backup goalkeeper. Wojciech Szczesny has been put up for transfer by Juventus, and Arsenal should seriously consider bringing him back. Arteta only needs a reliable stopgap to cover for Raya, and Szczesny fits the bill perfectly. Plus, he has a deep love for Arsenal and would be warmly welcomed back by the fans. Alexis Sanchez Alexis Sanchez is now a free agent after leaving Inter Milan, and he could be a solid option for Arsenal. The Chilean was phenomenal during his time at the Emirates, and although he left on sour terms, he's since admitted that leaving was a mistake and has frequently shown his love for Arsenal on social media. Interestingly, Sanchez is also Bukayo Saka's idol. The Arsenal number 7 has shared how he grew up watching Sanchez and admired him as a player. Even at 35, Sanchez still has the skills to contribute for another season. His versatility across the front line would provide Arteta with valuable options. Plus, the fact that he's available on a free transfer makes this potential signing even more appealing. Eberechi Eze Eberechi Eze is the youngest and arguably the most thrilling name on this list. Many might not recall that Eze was once part of Arsenal's academy. The Crystal Palace star was with the club until he was released at 13, a moment he later described as heartbreaking, saying he cried for a solid week after it happened. With Emile Smith-Rowe gone, Eze would be an excellent replacement for Arsenal, and they should definitely consider making a move for him. However, unlike Chesney and Sanchez, Eze would come with a hefty price tag. His release clause is a staggering 60 million pounds, with an additional 8 million pounds in potential add-ons. Which of these players would you like to see back at Arsenal? I must admit, I miss seeing Alexis Sanchez shine in our shirt, but I'd love to hear what you think. Share your opinion in the comments below. Fabrizio Romano drops a bombshell about Arsenal's 65 million pounds target. Arsenal have been eyeing several strikers, but Tottenham Hotspur are also hunting for a new forward. Names like Alexander Isak and Victor Giocaris have been linked to the Emirates, but given their high price tags and the form of Kai Havertz, these deals seem unlikely. Recently, reports surfaced that Arsenal had renewed their interest in Joaquere's, but they were put off by the high asking price set by Sporting Club de Portugal. Eddie Enkedia is expected to leave, but Arsenal turned down offers from Marseille, as they didn't meet their minimum asking price of £30 million. Frustrated with the Joaquere situation, Arsenal have been linked with a surprising move for Bournemouth striker Dominic Solanke. However, Tottenham is also interested in him, which could ultimately work in Arsenal's favour. Tottenham advance in deal for Arsenal. Arsenal target Dominic Solanke. Fabrizio Romano has now revealed that Tottenham and Ainge Postacoglu are eager to sign Solanke, who has a release clause of around £65 million at Bournemouth. Understand Tottenham are pushing to get Dominic Solanke deal done. Talks underway with Bournemouth. Solanke has given the green light to Spurs as negotiations are ongoing to find an agreement he posted on X. Despite Arsenal's reported interest in Dominic Solanke, he isn't seen as a player who would significantly upgrade Mikel Arteta's team, nor does he provide the speed needed in another attacker. So if Spurs end up signing Solanke, Arsenal fans likely won't be too concerned. However, Arteta and Edu Gaspar might view this as an opportunity to explore other, more fitting options. Bournemouth could turn to Eddie Nketiah as Dominic Solanke replacement. 
Arsenal's decision to reject Marseille's offers for Eddie and Kedia was bold, as they might be counting on Premier League clubs to make higher bids. While Arteta may be content to keep Nketiah if no suitable offer comes in, selling him this summer would boost the club's finances and help with their profitability and sustainability regulations. If Bournemouth sells Solanke to Spurs for £65 million, they'll have substantial funds and will urgently need a proven Premier League striker. This could make them turn to Nketiah, who has a similar goal-scoring record to Solanke before last season and over 150 appearances in English football. Bournemouth may find his price tag reasonable, potentially allowing Arsenal to make a very profitable sale. Arsenal fans all saying the same thing about Oleksandr Zinchenko after official announcement. Arsenal star Oleksandr Zinchenko has been making headlines recently. The Ukrainian international joined the Gunners from Manchester City in the summer of 2022 and quickly became a crucial player for the team. Zinchenko was instrumental in turning Arsenal into title contenders, but he had a disappointing 2023-24 season, which sparked rumors about a possible summer departure. However, it now seems those rumors have been put to rest. Arsenal announced on Tuesday that Zinchenko has changed his shirt number from 35 to 17. This move has convinced fans that Zinchenko is set to stay at the Emirates Stadium beyond the summer transfer window. With the arrival of Ricardo Calafiori, Zinchenko has slipped down the pecking order at Arsenal, making it unlikely he will be a regular starter for the 2024-25 season. Despite this, Arsenal fans are convinced that Zinchenko is staying put after the announcement of his shirt number change. Reacting to the announcement, one Arsenal fan tweeted, This is a big signal that he isn't leaving. Sorry to all the haters during this tough time. Another said not only is he staying, he will play a lot more minutes than people think. Another fan said, this guy cannot defend, very nice guy, but honestly, if Arteta is planning on using him, he's wrong on this one. Arsenal are in a vulnerable position due to Zinchenko's contract. We're not against keeping Zinchenko at all. The former Manchester City player is one of Arsenal's most skilled individuals on the ball. His ability to control possession and break down tight defenses is top notch. The issue, though, is that Zinchenko will only have one year left on his contract by the summer of 2025. This puts Arsenal in a tricky spot. While it's good that Zinchenko is staying, Edu Gaspar and his team need to secure him with a new contract to safeguard his value beyond this summer's transfer window. If they don't, Arsenal might have to sell him for a lower fee in 2025 or risk losing him for nothing the following year. Arsenal Insider shares what they've been told about Jurian Timber's new injury. TNATs just shared the update on their Patreon, explaining that Timber was only missing from the Leverkusen match as a precaution. TNATs has clarified that Timber's injury is to his foot, not his knee, as widely reported. The Dutch defender might be available for Sunday's game against Lyon, but it's not guaranteed. Losing Timber for an extended period would be a major setback, given his importance to Arteta's plans, even with Ricardo Calafiori joining the squad. Timber and Calafiori could frequently compete for the starting spot on the left, although Timber is versatile and can play in all four defensive positions. Additionally, Timber could provide the opportunity for Arteta to rest key players players like Saliba and Ben White, something he couldn't do last season. Arsenal fans will be hoping this update is accurate and that Timber can return in time for the Lion match this weekend. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us and until the next video.